Welcome back, I'm Scotty Garbitas, and we're playing The Curious Expedition. Last time, we found out that I am in third place, and we have a new destination to pick for our second expedition. We could go to the Desperate Grasslands, a well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. Rumors talk about a golden pyramid that can be found in the region, or the Black Grasslands, a well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide, of wide grasslands. Both of them have... This one looks like I don't have to travel as far, so I think that's the one I'm going to go with. All right, early that morning, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I sat on the pier and waited. A rough-looking hunter approached me with a request. He told a story about a human-eating hyena called Snarf Rattle. He hated the creature with all his heart and wanted it dead. A handsome reward would wait for me if we were able to return with its pelt. I accepted his offer. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck for our hunt. Claudia Lemercier, an artist, offered to join our expedition. Heck yeah, let's recruit the artist. We could use an artist and welcomed Claudia Lemercier in our trek. At last, our vessel was ready for departure. But let's purchase some equipment. <clears throat> I used the remaining time to visit the general store before venturing out. I knew that many of these items would be hard to come by in the wild. We're going to buy some bullets. And what are these guys? Colorful, colorful, colorful marbles. Colorful marbles. Um, that's a flare. No. How about... Uh, let's see. These guys, they were eight, and that's ten for the whiskey. I don't think I need that. Um, we don't have any machetes this time? We're going to need machetes to cut through stuff. So we got some bullets and some machetes. And they'll stack, so we might as well load up on that stuff. Deal! All right. Oh my gosh, there's the hyena. Snarf rattle the hyena. We have an artist. Uh, what are these guys? Brain and vision, I guess. Hmm. This is an attack and a run, I think. He's got pretty good toughness. They do not. And okay, so we've got one guy that can attack. But I did buy some bullets and we have a rifle. We have a shotgun. Let's let's give this hyena the business. If we have to, we'll run away. First things first, let's fight the hyena. Whoa, that's more than one hyena. All right, let's roll. We want that guy. That said something about being a combo. Let's do all these guys. Oh, snap! Everybody's dead! That's no bueno. Uh... Let's flee. We were attacked. We managed to flee. The group was scared and exhausted. We re realized afterwards that in our hectic retreat, we lost some of our inventory on the way. Oh, no. Uh, let's go. Let's go down here. Get away from that hyena that just kicked our teeth in. Let's enter the stone circle. We came across the stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions etched in each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Ian McLeod and Claudia Le Mercier seemed visibly upset at the idea of exploring this site and warned us about disturbing the gods. Let's analyze the inscriptions. We deciphered the inscriptions and found that they would help us to find out more about a nearby area. Let's select an area to reveal. Um, how's about... We'll do that. 
nothing more for us here. Oh, man. I don't know how to play this game. I thought for sure it would tell us a little more and reveal those things, but I, I didn't do it right. All right. Let's stay away from the hyena. That was bad news. Ooh, it's a village. Yay! Let's enter the village. We entered a native village. The people placed a great deal of emphasis on their connection with the spirit world. The villagers observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered to help our cause. Upon our arrival, Riyadh Terrapur began to converse with the natives. He assured us that the villagers would allow us to rest here. How about we trade with them? We can offer them the easel and the canvases. Ooh, for drums. Let's see here. These produce some interesting sounds. Blue mushrooms or the red mushrooms we had before. You know, I feel bad trading away all of the artist stuff. We'll do one of those. Can we get the drum? Ooh, they don't really want to trade the drums. All right. And what about the blue mushroom? If we gave you some chocolate and... Wow, seven machetes, a canvas, and some chocolate for some drums and a blue mushroom. Oh, and we won't have any place to carry it. That's a problem. That is a problem. So if we did five machetes and two canvases, well, we might as well get rid of that too. And... There we go. Wow, we're giving them the whole deal just to get some drums and some blue mushrooms. Well, let's go for it. Deal, baby! And let's go ahead and let's rest in the village. We packed out our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. The natives were very hospitable and we spent an enjoyable evening with them. Let's sleep. The night was quiet and peaceful the next morning was bright and sunny. Let's go ahead and let's trade with them and get some more room in our inventory. Let's just be like, hey, we'll give you some mint. You give us a machete. We'll give you a torch. We'll take a machete back. Deal, baby. Um, let's recruit. We sat down and spoke with the natives to see if anyone was willing to join our cause. We'll recruit an animal handler. The atmosphere was beginning to get somewhat tense. We could tell the villagers wanted us to leave. A girl laid down some food by the idol. Huh. Too many members. Let's leave the artist behind. Didn't we get rid of all of her stuff? Whoa, leveled up. What are you talking about? Um, you have too many members. Can we... How do we get rid of you? Uh-oh. I don't know how to get rid of you. Let's rest in the village. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. An elderly man gazed intently at my drums and asked if he could have a look at them. I allowed him to. I gave him my consent. He played a few notes, then tightened the skin stretched over the top of the instrument a fraction, improving its sound noticeably. How does one get rid of a party member? He's injured. I want to get rid of the artist. She's superstitious. All right, let's steal the idol. Put it in her stuff. Take all. The villagers caught us as we tried to abscond with the idol. They were furious and drew their weapons. We made haste and ran as fast as we could before they were able to attack. It would be wise never to return to this place. We'll go this way. I have too many members to travel. All right, well, how does one get rid of a party member? It's not this way. Um. We're going to we're going to dismiss you because your people hate us anyway. It was time to send away Rehufil. She's been dismissed. I would be better off without her. I doubt that, but I am ready to run away from these people. They are following us, and they are not happy with us. 
This bleak and foreboding place was located in the middle of a swamp littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, the creatures of many generations had come here to die. Uh oh. Riyadh Terrapore does not like this place. Eon McLeod says we're being childish or that Riyadh is. I told the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. After some time, we found valuable elephant tusks. They could be sold for a high price. Let's loot them. All right, what do we drop in here? Um, Let's drop the chocolate and take the tusk. I'm overburdened. No! Um, yeah, we discard the chocolate. All right, we need to go this way. Uh-oh. We will flee. In the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent a wound from getting infected, and Riyadh Terrapore's wound had begun to secrete an astonishing amount of pus. We were attacked. When we managed to escape, the group was scared and exhausted afterwards. Um, let's continue. Get out of here. Go, go, go. New region. Uh, we're gonna go up here to this question mark and let's hope it's someplace we can rest and get all feeling better. Oh, we arrived at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. Let's rest overnight. Darwin says he wishes we could stay longer. I agree with myself. The night was bleak and everyone was seemingly worn out. We had to do something. The men were in desperate need of some progress. Otherwise, they would lose, they would soon lose faith in our venture. I'm going to rest. We woke up more rested than usual thanks to the slanted roof over our heads. Let's rest over the night again. The spirits have watched over us this night. We settled down, allowing everyone to rest. The sound of drums echoed through the night as we sat by the campfire. Riyadh Terrapore was anxious and began praying quietly. We will sleep. Oh, we've got a gorilla coming at us. Oh, okay, we're almost back to full. We woke up more rested than usual thanks to the slanted roof over our heads. Let's get the hex out of here. We don't want that gorilla to tear off our arms. There's an elephant. No! My wound had become hot to the touch. Every step was an ordeal. Yikes. Are we all... I have an infection. Hmm. feel like we need to um let's continue this way if we can find the pyramid quickly there it is get to the pyramid avoid the elephant explore the majestic golden pyramid rose above its environment overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived let's enter the pyramid all right, after weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would forever be remembered as we finished the expedition. We did not kill the hyena because it kicked our butts. Uh, we stole stuff from the villagers. They hate us. Uh, we were chased by a gorilla and we avoided an elephant. Our new fame is 216. I think we did well there. Yay, the people love us, triumph. The Exploratoris. We could get the Desert Explorer, which is reduced movement costs in deserts. Jungle Explorer. Or Waterproof, reduced movement costs in shallow rivers. I think I'm gonna go with Jungle Explorer to reduce the movement costs in thick jungle. These people love everything I do. I'm amazing. All right, Alistair Crawley is kicking our butts in. Um, we could get some mad cash for that elephant tusk. Let's, hmm. Let's sell it. The drums, we will gift. The idol, we will gift. And... Let's go ahead and let's 
Let's sell the blue mushroom. And I will see you guys next time for another curious expedition. I'm Scotty Garbitas. Click like, subscribe, oh my, it's Scotty!